Hello. During the conference, I thought Habib Nurmagomedov did very well. It was shocking how calm and composed he was, considering the angles Conway was hitting him with. He was a fighter after all, and he just stood there very calm and collected. It was getting very personal. The meticulous research Connor did on Habib would of course naturally create times when Habib would get annoyed, nervous, irritated, what would happen to any sane human being. But for the most part, he was calm, giving little indication that he would go on into the bout the same way Jose Aldo or Dustin Poirier did. During the lead up and the process to get ready for the fight, I thought he wasn't getting in my head, and he might have been. You know, looking back at it now, I, I don't know. I, I wanted to hurt him. I was aggravated and, and mad all the time. A lot of times I would find myself like being angry at him or thinking about him. You know, I'm not fighting him who he is. I'm fighting his style of fighting and what he does in the game. I've never disliked somebody that much that I've ever fought. Hands in his hips. Oh, this was perhaps as ruthless as we've ever seen Conor McGregor. It got political, religious, personal. If Habib truly engaged the game Connor was playing, he would not win. Being calm and saying as little as possible or giving basic responses without showing you care to entertain this game, it's really the only thing I believe most people can do. Versus Connor, at least. I believe it was smart Habib acknowledged this. He's way too quick. He does too much research specifically geared for just this. And his words, they sting the hardest because he grounds it in truth. We should also note one of his greatest strengths that this represents. It is indicative of a high fluid intelligence. Present in the moment, fueled with hard data, he will never run out of things to say because just like any muscle, our ability to free associate is the same. You can build it and some people, they just have a naturally higher aptitude for it. In that sense, free association. Conor McGregor, he is an Olympian. He also has another aptitude that perfectly harmonizes with this boundless free association. It is high emotional intelligence, which we can observe in this alternate angle face-off. Watch as he moves in like a leopard to pounce on prey. Conor has mentioned that he observes predatory animals and how they trap, corner, and pounce their prey. As this face-off progresses, Habib clearly does not want to engage at all. I'd say it's a smart move, working to remain calm and composed instead. But for the most part, it's as if he's bottling himself up like an employee would to an angry boss they wish they could just punch in the face a post to listen to instead. This scenario would be uncomfortable for anyone. I don't think many people could have handled it as well as Habib Nurmagomedov did. But here, notice, Connor says blue lips. Get some blue lips. Blue lips. Cyanosis is the name for poor oxygen circulation in the blood that causes bluest discoloration of the skin. The blue color may be indicative of reduced blood supply, which could be due to the cold or constriction. In the case of Habib, knowing he's cut a lot of weight and knowing he's very uncomfortable, tense and pressing his lips together in his desire to not say anything, it may be contributing to reduced blood flow to his lips, hence the bluish color. Where some would have a facial twitch, touch their face, involuntary sweat or get jittery, the way we feel in the moment typically has a physical manifestation accompanying it. And that's the thing. The way we feel about ourselves typically always shows unless you're a psychopath or you've learned to suppress it like a poker player. On the contrary, poker players also exercise their ability to read these subtle cues called micro-expressions. Now, what does this mean? Again, I don't believe it indicates anything much about how Habib will be mentally. I don't see a man who will be mentally compromised the same way Connor's other opponents have. But this does give insight into Connor's genius ability to make reads and adjustments. Connor saw this, blue lips, and reacted instantly. He took advantage of it and caused a slight break in reaction from Habib's initial stone cold disposition. Connor has a tendency of always doing this. When we understand this skill, his ability to Instantly capitalize on the way someone is defending, adjusting to a strike that pierces their defenses. His sharp behavioral acuity, it starts to make a little more sense. 
The gap Dustin Poirier had around his guard, adjusting from a straight to a long hook to exploit it by winding around. The way Marcus Brimmett was shelling with his head down, making it harder to deliver a concussive blow with his straight. Thus Conor McGregor effectively adjusting to Sugar Rain Leonard's bolo uppercut to exploit the head position. It's the same skill. Conor McGregor, he acknowledges your behavior and instantly adjusts to exploit it. Whether it be the way you're carrying yourself, looking at a vulnerability, a moment of weakness, a moment of anxiety, tenseness, fear, or a way you're defending or have your tools work against you. Conor McGregor, he acknowledges your behavior and instantly he adjusts to exploit it. This is a reason as to why he's one of the few fighters that can find consistent success with his hands down. He compensates for standard defensive techniques with high behavioral acuity. His defense isn't a standard technique like a high guard, but instead it's a wall of strikes specifically adapted to your behaviors and techniques in the moment. In that sense, it isn't just Conor McGregor's high fight IQ that makes him a monster. It is behavioral IQ overall, his high fluid intelligence as the overall category. Fluid intelligence is defined as the ability to solve new problems, use logic in new situations, and identify patterns. In contrast, crystallized intelligence is defined as the ability to use learned knowledge and experience. One adapts to the moment, we would call it street smarts, the other crystallized intelligence, we would call it book smarts. Now this is just an interesting component to Conor McGregor's game. There are many factors comprising a fight, thus in regards to Habib Nurmagomedov, he has his own unique aptitudes as well. I cannot give you a clear-cut answer to who will win based off this one variable. I have much to learn myself. And also, again, it's a fight. Anything can happen. What I do believe, though, is that the person who has the advantage early on will likely dominate for the rest. Thank you, Conor McGregor and Habib Nurmagomedov, for helping me share this lesson. If you like more from me, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you if you did. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. It's for karma. Until next time.